Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I'm making a little mini album. This mini album is four by six, and I am using My Mind's Eye six by six paper pad. So I'm just cutting the pieces down to four by six to fit my chipboard. My chipboard is a medium weight chipboard, and I will be edging all of the chipboard in black soot distress paint which just gives it a finished look. If you do not have the Distress Paint, the Black Soot ink works just as well. I will link that along with the rest of the products in the description box below. And now I will just be adding my papers onto my chipboard. I'm using the new Angel Craft double-sided tape in the one half inch. And this is, I've been using this tape for a while now, and this is really great tape. It also comes in one quarter inch and it tears very easily. I, you'll see me there cutting it just because I want the straight edge on it. This is also heat resistant. So you can actually place the tape down, add some embossing powder and heat it up and it works just as if you were to emboss with a stamp. So I've added all my papers to my chipboard and now I'm using the new Angel Craft Vinyl in my Big Shot. And the die that I'm using is a mannequin die. It is no longer available, so I will link to another beautiful mannequin die as well. It was just a little too big for the size album that I was making. So as you see, I ran that through my Big Shot and it cuts out beautifully in the Big Shot. And now I'm using the Angel Craft Transfer Paper to transfer this onto my acrylic mini album. And I will, add, I will be transferring the entire die along with the negative pieces, but I will reverse weed it and take those negative pieces out after I've applied it to my front of my album. So here's where I'm deciding that I want to add a Spellbinders Labels 40 die. And this is the second to the smallest size, I believe, in there. So I'm going to use the gray Angel Craft Vinyl and cut that through. You only need to run it through your Big Shot one time. It cuts that well. So by using the transfer paper, I'll be able to put that on my album exactly where I want. And then now I've added my mannequin die. And now I will go through with my paper piercer and remove all the negative parts. I like to do this with a very intricate die like this. Normally you would take out all the negative pieces before you transfer it onto your project. But being that it is so intricate, I like to do it this way. It works a little bit better for me. I will also be using the matte white in my silhouette and I cut out the word blessed and I will add that to the front of my label. And by using the vinyl, it looks great from the back side as well. You don't have any glue showing. So now I will be adding a few flowers and using a little bit of E6000 along with hot glue. And my hot glue will be sitting under the flowers on top of that label. So from the back side, it ends up looking great. You don't even see the glue. And I will also add a word to the back of that label as well. I will then bind this album with some binder rings and add some seam binding just for the look of binding. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will link to all these products in the description box along with Cut at Home's blog. I hope you stop by there and check it out for more details. And thanks so much for watching. I'll let you enjoy the rest of this process. Thanks for watching.